We have a 2 kilogram box sitting on a 30 degree incline. And we want to find the minimum mu s between the box and the incline. Since the box is not sliding down, there must be enough friction. If mu s is too small, then the box would slide. Therefore, mu s has to be at least a certain amount. And we are to find that minimum mu s. So let's follow the problem solving procedures. The box sits on the incline. That means uh, the acceleration is uh, zero. Let's draw the force diagram. There is the non-contact force mg. So it's 20 newtons. The box is touching the incline, so you can have no more force and friction. No more force goes that way. The box is not sliding, but it has a tendency to slide down the incline. So there is a static friction going up the incline. And we're going to use a slanted coordinate system. Along the incline is our x direction. Perpendicular to the incline is our y direction. So in this coordinate system, the mg is the slanted force. So to find the mg, the slanted force, again, we make a rectangle. One side of the rectangle is parallel to the incline. The other side of the rectangle is perpendicular to the incline. And then we just have to get to here. So we have a rectangle with the slanted mg fitting the diagonal of the rectangle. So this is our y component. This is the x component. If we draw this carefully, we can see that this is 30 degrees. That means this must be the 30 degrees. The slim angle must be the 30 degrees. If you don't do this, you can say this is your right triangle, 90 degree angle. If this is 30, this angle here must be 60. And that means this angle here must also be 60 degrees. And since these two added together must be 90, this one must be 30 degree angle. The y component is adjacent to the angle. So this is mg cosine theta. mg is 20 cosine 30 degrees, this gives us 17.3. And this other component has to be the sine component. So this one is the mg sine theta. 20 times sine 30 degrees, and that gives us 10 newtons. So we have the components now. Then we can write our force equation. The first force equation Net force equals to ma. We do one direction at a time. The x direction, the acceleration is zero. So the force to the left and the force to the right, they must be equal. So 10 equals to friction. Friction is 10 newtons. In the y direction, the acceleration is also zero. That means the upward force and the downward force, they are equal. So the normal force equals to 17.3 newtons. These are not what we're looking for. We're looking for the mu s. Now the mu s, the equation that involves mu s is the maximum friction. So let's see. The maximum friction equals to mu s times the normal force. We're looking for the minimum mu s. That means uh, we are now using the maximum friction. So the friction is the maximum possible friction provided by this surface with the minimum mu s. So maximum possible friction is 10, and that equals to mu s times 17.3, and that gives us uh, mu s is 0.58, no unit. So this is our mu s. 
Now, if you happen to remember that the mg's component going down and along the incline is mg sine theta, and that the other one, the perpendicular to the incline component is mg cosine theta, then you don't really have to bother with all this. Let's see. The acceleration is zero. If the box slides at all, the acceleration will be along the incline, which means uh, what's important is for us to look at the forces along the incline. So we don't really have to draw other forces. We just have to draw the forces along the incline. So instead of drawing the downward mg for problem solving purpose, we just have to draw mg's component that goes down the incline. And that will be the mg sine theta. And now in this case, that's 10. The normal force is not along the incline. It has no component along the incline. Friction is along the incline. It goes up the incline. And that's it. So when we write our net force equals to ma, because the acceleration is zero, the force to the left and the force to the right have to be equal. So friction must equal to 10. And then, of course, we also know that the, this is the maximum possible friction if the mu s is the minimum possible value. Then the friction must be the maximum possible value for this mu s. So this is uh, mu s times the normal force. The maximum possible friction is 10, and that's mu s times the normal force. For a box on an incline, we know that the normal force cancels with mg's component that's perpendicular to the incline. So the normal force will be the mg cosine theta. Therefore, we will get 10 equals to mu s times the mg cosine theta is 17.3, and therefore we will get the same answer, 0.58. So this can make your process a little easier.